For the Association of Resident Doctors FCT chapter, it was a week packed with eventful activities to mark its 2022 Health Week, which had brain drain and the health sector in Nigeria, a time to rebuild as the theme. The week has actually come to an end. We had our AGM yesterday and also had our election where we elected new executives for the ARD FCTA 2022 to 2023 um, session. Um, it has been a challenging week. We were able to have discussions that were robust, discussions that we hope will come to the ears of the government. We also um, crowned today with um, sharing, we decided to launch a Pad a Girl campaign where we gave out pads to um, girls of um, menstrual age and uh, we were able to share some of those, at least, at least 100 pads to girls today. And we feel fulfilled. As we know, ARD always finds a way throughout the year to find a week that we decide to give back to the society. As we do that, we also try to exercise on our own, see how we can also build our own health. You know? So it has been an eventful week. It has been a successful week. We thank God Almighty. We also thank the authorities for assisting us where they could. Um, we pray that the new executives that have come on board that um, they would get the support that they have gotten from our members and from the society at large. The Health Week, which began with the Thanksgiving service, also witnessed a press briefing by the doctors, sports activities by members of ARD FCT chapter, inauguration of new executives for the body, its annual general meeting, and menstrual education for young girls in some parts of the FCT. And what we need to do as medical doctors is to do more outreaches to the people out there and try to bridge the gap between the doctors and the community and try to see how we can make our community a healthy living community. We've trained yet and we've had a series of activities marking the health week. Today is like um, the final day of the health week and we are here at Jahi to talk to the girls, the young girls, the females of um, Jahi community. Uh, we are carrying out an outreach here. We'll be giving them talking to them on menstrual hygiene because we know this is one area that people tend to avoid due to cultural diversities and personal beliefs but we're here to talk to them about it to educate them on the need for proper menstrual hygiene and we also have samples we also have um, packages for them we'll be giving them free menstrual hygiene packs sanitary towels and um, we'll minister to them we'll talk to them about how to go about it and maintain proper menstrual hygiene with commitment from all quarters and cooperation of relevant stakeholders the resident doctors are hopeful the challenge of brain drain will be a theme of the past in Nigeria.